This video from inside the home provided by Animal Control shows the conditions. An officer says as soon as he stepped inside, the room air hit him and he vomited. 24 dogs, two of them dead, many confined to cages in the basement. Here are two of the German shepherds in the light of a new and welcome day. Some could hardly walk. We can tell immediately they would never been touched. They've never been patted, they've never been walked. It's overwhelming in the sense that someone could do this to animals. 20 cats of varying breeds were removed, most about three to five years old. An orange tabby, a calico, a couple tuxedos, gray and whites. Um, so even like touching them, you can feel where all the flea bites are. They've all been treated. I mean, when they were brought in, you could see live fleas crawling across their face. Yes. All with hair loss and upper respiratory infections, most are underweight and dehydrated. Only a couple are able to be touched. But if I reached in and tried to pick him up, he'd, he'd scratch all of you, he'd be gone. Behaviorally, cats like Niagara and Netflix have a long road to adoptability ahead. <laughs> Along with the dogs and cats, six horses, four ferrets and two guinea pigs were there, all in a state of severe neglect. So needless as the Claremont County Animal Shelter sees it. We're here more than just enforce the law. You know, we're here to actually help people, get them dog food if they need it. We're told this year old cat, Mama Stay, can be petted but has no concept of being held. The program manager here is fully invested by training and by name, Cat Cameron. Here's what she says about the owners. I think their heart was in the right place. They were trying to help. They just got kind of over their head. They got out of their, out of their league. Both are out of the animal hoarding business for now. Carolyn Fluhart has been charged with multiple counts of animal cruelty and neglect. The intent is to also charge her husband, but he is currently hospitalized. John London, WWT News 5.